Welcome back everyone, you're watching Tournament Entertainment Variety Streamer who breaks games and looks for hardcore. Today we're checking out Road Warden, a sponsored stream. Um, and for the game that has been released uh, about a month ago, and I've been having it in the Raiders, and it was pretty trending on Twitter and my so so social circles, in my developer circles, and what's not. And yeah, as I. Uh, record this in stream um, the game is having fantastic review score 96% positive 400 plus reviews the developer is very happy and by the way speaking of game and developer this is one person project apparently I, I don't know if there is uh, some kind of help here uh, there's no credits by the way in the page here I noticed some games don't bother with the credits page or anything but there's no version of the game either but yeah, also this is a patched version. Uh, um, it's a good thing that dodging some like launch issues and all that this is like what 1.0.6 or something. I saw developer uh, was proud of recent patch and everything. Demo is also updated. Says in the yeah, so the demo apparently exists for the game too. Nice, nice. And yeah, as my. Uh, spammable uh, link in the chat is uh, suggesting yeah this is like 30 hour illustrated text based rpg adventure made by one person and hell yeah this sounds exciting i didn't see any other streamers and the youtube videos i was just purposely uh, dodging it uh since not to spoil myself a couple of people already from my community played the game so they'll be able to witness me uh, struggling or failing but yeah uh since this is going to be illustrated text uh, adventure game yeah i i would uh, i would like to ask my viewers or uh from uh, both in the future youtube and um twitch um perhaps if you can uh, uh like s spend time looking at the screen more because I don't know if I will be physically like voice acting everything or reading aloud but like usually I try to present with voice acting and reading everything but again I, I have sponsored stream right now I don't have that many hours till the midnight yeah um like it might be not a great idea right now to do some kind of awesome voice acting here for everything so just so we progress the game will be like you know just gonna be reading <laughs> and yeah I have a road warning more like a read warning yeah there was a recent funny review on Steam the developer even tweeted this review <laughs> and uh, ironically posting like a sad emoji anyway he loves it of course uh, it's funny review and uh, also positive one of course also, there was a review, uh, based on a lot of reviews, and developer has also commented about it, um, people are claiming that this game is both retro and modern, which is like a really interesting, uh, I guess, uh, position to be in, because yeah, it definitely promotes itself as like pixel art, retro looking like text based, but at the same time, apparently there's some uh, modern like mechanics in a game involved. And I could so, totally see that coming, of course, once, uh, once I start playing the game and checking out myself here. All right, so let's go. Um, uh, I usually, when somebody buys me, a, you know, AK like sponsored segment, I usually provide also a cool to a cool to assurance and uh, like, like testing the product essentially and all that. But the game is out already for a month, so. I don't think QA is needed here, but we'll see. Zero, vodka, zero, zero. Image. So this is the menu. We have pixel um, matches the illustrations. We we can make font uh, pixel art. So, uh, well, not pixel art. Excuse me, just pixel related uh, font. Uh, again. It says fitting matches the illustrations. I guess so. Easier to read. I'll probably stick to both of them. I think this font is pretty similar. I'm not sure what this font is, but it's probably one of the, the basics uh, from Windows. Uh, I played recently like that game. Remember the turn-based game, Immortals? Um, that was um, 
similar font there. Also, both pixel and basic. Oh, by the way, before I forget, I, I, I said it earlier, but like the music that is playing in the, the intro, the guitar part at the end of that really reminds me of uh, RimWorld. You probably all heard about uh, that game, right? And soundtrack, it's fantastic. Yeah, the, uh, the gu solo guitar part there at the end is super good. All right, we have the um, text here, controls for the audio, describe attitudes. It's some, um, something I don't know for new players. Tutorials, uh, sh there's a qu when you launch the game, there's a quote, apparently. Pretty cool. Uh, dev support. Narration describes sounds in greater detail. So I assume this is like a Half-Life, um, I mean, uh, source games, where if you enable uh, subtitles it will like in, in left for dead for example there's like a roar from the zombie and it's gonna be like subtitled or if you're playing portal uh there's some sound effect coming out from the left side of your screen and then there's like gonna be a subtitle that achievements ah there we go credits is here there we go there we go credits there we go uh rails all game portrays wildlife and most um, as monstrous in reality. Animals are an essential part of a healthy ecosystem. The threat they present, please consider supporting charities. Oh, wow, that's quite interesting. Charity message in the credits. There we go. Yeah, I expected there would be uh, helpers here. Like, it's yeah. There we go. There we go. Assemble team. What does assemble team means, by the way? Made with a brand new engine. That sounds familiar. It also feels like a Russian here a little bit, like with that Ru <laughs> stock sounds. Assembled in publisher team, I guess. Ah, yeah. By the way, I forgot about publisher. Let me check on Steam. Ah, yeah, Assemble Entertainment, <laughs> it's publisher of the game. Um, Renpai. Yeah, this is, this Renpai, is, it sounds familiar though, I'm not sure. And yeah, as expected. I mean, it, it, like the, the claim about one person game is still like I guess mostly correct, but yeah, like there's obviously gonna be some commissions and helping here as is shown here. Um alright. Let's go. New game. Everyone knows to stay away from wilderness. Most people would never risk a lonely journey. Road warnings not only accept the struggle, they embrace it. It deliver messages, assist merchants, burn shipping corpses, and it's possible to get rid of the beasts and hire women. They live in a road, die young, or retire early. Still popular visual novel engines used to be anyway. Yeah, that's that's right. This is why the interface of like the the bar on the right part of the screen is look there's like a buttons from the visual novels like quick load quick save it's a dangerous job but a respectable one it pays well i leave the safety of the city walls i still have my house <laughs> you mean if i click that it's not gonna start the game <laughs> okay we select like difficulty mode casual stand ah that's what you said uh, easy means casual that's what you meant Okay, so there's a limit in this game, yeah? But again, I, I, I know people hate time limits, I know, especially like s big RPG games. Uh, but again, we don't know much context here yet. It might be actually pretty chill. And again, just think of this, 400 plus reviews already, super crazy positive. People who enjoy these type of games, they, they, they think it's a banger. So we gotta trust here, you know, trust, trust the timer. Focus on story, no time, more cash, some quests are more forgiving. For those familiar with RPGs, regular rule sets, increase nighttime damage. Nighttime damage, you say, huh? Okay, we're gonna be playing first run on standard. I believe you can play a game differently, like with different, uh, so to speak, classes. So, replayability is also on the table. 
And of course, uh, since I'm doing first stream as a sponsored, I should probably consider doing normal difficulty or whatever is like middle. Uh, instead of um, trying to be here pornous hardcore as I am normally, but and then just bashing my wall into the beginning of the game and not showing on stream a lot of content. Nice promotion of the game, right? The wall is still standing, there are no walls around, no stench of blood, good signs. This should be a place you're looking for, you're supposed to meet with a group of soldiers, but you hear no voices, no sign of labor. The gate is ajar, but the camp isn't safe to make, keep away the goblins and pebblers, no beastful controls. Yeah, the fantasy is all right here. The night is near. Pal palfrey breathes heavily. What is palfrey? I, I'm not sure what that word is. Let's Google Translate. Is that a pet? Palfrey? Or Q? <laughs> ah, Verhovna Lo Ah, Riding Horse. Okay. Sheesh, I didn't know Palfrey word. Okay. Saddler. Riding Horse. Okay. Um. Alright, so my camera blocks way. There's like a visual novel buttons here. Like archive. It's my log, I assume, yeah, the, the text log here. Return, safe, load, journal, inventory, uh, archive settings, yeah, okay. And there's also hotkeys, yeah, I assume quick, what is it, F5, F, F8 is default, or I forget, <laughs> it's a bit of all, it's like played the normal, like big RPG with a quick save, quick load. Let's see the bindings, I guess. It should be, yeah, F8 is the standard, yeah. I'm, I'm not going crazy. This is what happens when you play too many roguelites, roguelikes, turn-based games. There's no safes coming, there's no Iron Man hardcore difficulties. You, 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 <laughs> you forget the games like Witcher 3 or whatever, where you have to quick safe everywhere. Alright, I could just look for another shelter. I need to look around cautiously. I dismount and sneak to the gate. So it's like saying I will do something and yeah? I get off the horse and enter the camp briskly. Alright, look around cautiously. You doubt that anyone noticed the clatter of hoofs. The short dry grass barely hover, cover the arid soil of this valley. You may be midway of the edge of the sparse woods which get denser as you climb up the hills. The best this trail has a few more years before getting all ground for good. Hard to believe it's still on the route north. Hmm. All right, let's go. I got HP there. Your heavy boots hit the ground, and the pain of the long ride finally catches up with you. You stretch out, bring your back and legs comfort. All you want now: a stable, decent chair, and a nice mug of beer and some warm stew. With any luck, your ex won't be needed here. Take care of yourself. If you're hurt or exhausted, some actions won't be available to you. The weaker you are, the higher the chance you will die in combat. <laughs> well, yeah, this game is not designed, I'm pretty sure, for Iron Man, so I have to, like, actual quick save and save scum as well. Uh, zero hours, 30 minutes before dusk. And my child is... There's 4 HP, again, like Zelda, hard container, yeah. I've reached the gate. I'm going inside, yeah. The military camera doesn't look the part. Plenty of wasted space, the fire pit is cold. Kind of reminds me of playing this, is like if you play Space Rangers, uh, well, if you're Russian also, like these text, uh, super awesome, uh, the text uh, quests in the game. Man, Space Rangers 2 is like such a giga chat game. You have like this space exploration, traveling different different uh, systems, solar systems, and everything. And then you have like battles. Then you have like quests. You have uh, planetary missions. You have all sorts of other gameplay. It's, uh, I'll see you guys in about. Don't want spoilers for myself. Oh, okay. You already got a. Wait, did, <laughs> did you just consider just buying a game or you already had it and then you're gonna play it before you get my vote there? 
Hot oh, damn, there, Pimas. Oh damn. And yeah, the YouTube. I had it Ah, okay, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, the game has been trending on uh, in indie scene, yeah. It's for uh, like since for a month since it was released. I always see some positive news about it. But yeah, I understand this is gonna be like, I definitely should make a warning. This is illustrated text based RPG, so you will see a lot of basically text. And again, it doesn't make a game bad at all it's just like different type of thing to enjoy we've been playing a lot of text-based uh, games in the dos era or even before you know before the visual novels were cool um it's it's all it's all people will find fun with it but yeah i'll do my best here to uh you know it's it's, it's definitely gonna be hard to voice act and read everything myself but uh, I mean uh, aloud I can just read it without talking but you know I'm a streamer here so I'm gonna make it worth two people sitting on the table tired and disheartened they're looking in a different directions paying no attention to another one of them is holding cup I walk toward them it takes them a few breaths to glance in your direction the first person greets you with a weird wave of his hands there are bags under his eyes Beards, it feels like this stream could be you can just like enable audio modes. Like, if I actually gonna read everything, you can just uh, watch on my uh, watch my stream on Twitch app, which supports audio only stream, which is a nice way to save battery or just whatever you're saving. And yeah, it's gonna be like a podcast essentially, <laughs> but yeah, it's only in condition if I actually gonna read everything. Yeah. Too much reading. It is. I mean, it's uh, it's it's uh, gonna be a lot of reading here. Hey, beers burst. Yeah, listening on the you have that tech. <laughs> a mace with a head covered in iron hands in his side, but he doesn't reach for it. I take a look at the second soul. Just like you, she's wearing a gemison. But hers is a bit loose. She took it, of course. Her head is shaven. She's protecting herself from flashing bugs. Her eyes are weary yet kind. She smiles. Considering the squad was sent here half a year ago, these two surely look the part. Though there should be more of them. Eight, I believe. I let them speak first. I ask them about the tent. Cookies of a story game games play Oh, come on. Okay, so time does not go for it just yet, okay? I let them speak first. It's nice to see an armed trailer in this godforsaken shithole makes makes me just a, a tiny bit hopeful. The beard man voice is strong yet timid. You will stay in night with us, I guess. We're soldiers, he and I, adds the armored woman. Her moment man, it's like I'm reading a book here yeah, basically. Um her moment switches from half asleep to relax. We will do our best to keep the camp safe, but if we were to take the first watch, it would be the huge help. Travelers ought to help each other, wouldn't they say? I think for a moment to fill the rest, you'll need a good sleep. Well, yeah, I, I kind of need health, I guess. I'm exhausted. The man looks away, if you say so, though better keep your axe nearby. The nights here can get spooky. I'll say sinister. Tell the soldier snorts. Some stupid sex what? I asked them about their lieutenant. Oh, I wonder how to phrase. You wonder how to phrase your question. Oh, this is my like um, attitude. Whatever you meet new people, you can influence how they perceive you by selecting one of the attitudes. Friendly. Hey, friendly over here. Man, freaking like, god damn it, this world is just ruined for me in my entire life, thanks to the XCOM. How many times I played that mission, right? In the in the Van Dorn mission that. <laughs> oh no. It just, yeah. Uh, playful. Use a Joker with a comment. Distance, hide your emotions. Intimidating, hinted, threat. Vulnerable, be sad, tired, afraid, or hopeless. Hmm, chat to pick here. We're gonna be roleplaying yourself in real life. 
or this is too boring of the choice because you don't want to roleplay yourself. You want to experience something you're not in video games, which is definitely a good way of doing video games. This game preview a response in this game after you click it once. Oh, really? At least you can preview your response. Mm hmm. Also, also, you can save scumming, I guess. Yeah, like, to a degree, I guess. Go Giga Chat. Intimidating. Yeah, yeah I don't know, though. Like, there's inventory system in the game, there's some probably other things, yeah. Not sure, um. Not sure, uh. I roleplay by yelling fireball, lightning bolt, and mark it. <laughs> well, there we go. I guess the whole town will either die or you're gonna be dead. I want to be social chameleon in this game, just saying. By chameleon, you mean uh, just. Uh, chameleon is like a hiding, I mean, so. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's what she probably mean as well. Whew, man, this music is so cool. Adapting to your advice. Ah, right, that's also the yeah, blend in, not like hiding in specifically. <clears throat> Fuck it, I'll be distanced. I'm looking for your little. Oh, yeah, you can uh, preview. Ah, you can click and then preview. That's what you meant, yeah. I'm sure you're busy with you could just introduce me to a lieutenant. I was hoping to meet you on my talk. I would rather speak with someone who's not going to waste my time. I had a long journey. Ah, okay. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Owen stands up, dust off her uh, gamazon, adjusts the sword to her side, and rests her hand to the tilt on the tilt. Her shoulders are straight, her eyes attentive. It'll be me, Trowler. Are you in trouble? I'm fine. I'm your new road warden. I took you for a wayfarer, to be honest. When you mentioned that your mount is waiting outside, she raised an eyebrow. Shouldn't you unsaddle it? I bet it's tired. She glanced at the gate, then at her companion. Her voice drops as a sly sign of weirdness. I expect you're looking for directions. I'll help you as much as I can. She reaches out to you. Lieutenant Tulium. I don't shake her hand. I'm, I'm. It may be a trap. Come on, man. I shake her head. How do you want people to call you? Pornus, of course. Yeah, I figures this is like intro right now. Her grasp is confident. Shake is slight. Just keep. F yeah, there we go. At benefit of playing single-player games that are not online, you can actually name your character as you are, without any weird like quote unquote bad word filters <laughs> not that porn is anything bad by any means but you know usually that's uh, the one of the problems too oh by the way it's funny uh, funny uh, fact I just recently um, discovered it thanks to the another streamer cheer no TV apparently if you try to put a tag stupid it, you cannot on Twitch. Like, you know, in, on, right now on Twitch you can put any tags, uh, custom, any literal word, except for the ones who are filtered by the Twitch moderation policy. So, and furthermore, you cannot even type baka. So somebody literally, y you cannot type stupid as a tag, and you cannot type baka there too. So basically somebody put in a ban list on Twitch, a English written Japanese word. You gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah, that's Twitch in 2022. <laughs> Sussy baka. Anyway, um... We need... Uh, her grasp is confident, shake is slight. Just keep your horse away from the tents. We don't need to smell its dung. Oh, there's this one issue. Soldier in a shirt also rises to his feet. We... Have no tent to spare. You'll have to use a blanket or something. Wow. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I enjoy stars. Yeah. He walks through the gate. The mount looks around, snorts anxiously. Not many humans could ride a horse. 
It's not only taller than you, but also bulky. It's heavy as it's strong. You can get in the saddle within a single breath, but most people wouldn't know where to even begin it from. Every side, it's a wall of flesh. Horses are brought with dragon woods from the conquest of South. They can trot for a long time, but why not front some of the local monsters? Your palfrey needs to use to survive, but without it, you too would be lost. Um, I don't care how it feels, but I need it to be strong if I want to troll. And I can't afford another one. Futa? I'm pretty sure Futa might be also banned, but again, doesn't matter. I mean, if you're on... you can... Ch any user on Twitch can be a streamer, so go to your dashboard and type the tag there. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to ask me for that. It's my only companion here. I wanted to feel at ease. Takes a few steps towards you, scolding with another snort. Scratch the bottom of its neck with strength and confidence just the way it likes it. <laughs> Humans are see useful animals, even pets as monsters in disguise. Getting emotionally attached to them is believed to lead humans to their doom, but you know that horses need companionship. I speak to you gently and lead to the camp. You end up next to a fire pit. Removing the saddle makes the horse... I don't want to pronounce that word, just in, just in case, you know. This is Twitch we're talking about here. With relief, you take a couple of minutes. I mean, it's so stupid. Like you literally see the word on 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 like screen, so you cannot even just like, you know, it's easy to dispute. Like if something goes wrong, but like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's <laughs> they will find a reason to ban you. Um, oh, it's thirty-hour text game. I was expecting some action. No, I I literally said it. It's illustrated uh, text game. Yeah, so you will. It's it's kind of like well, it's visual novel, I guess, in a way too. But it's more like a classic, uh, old school uh, text based games. Yeah, and this one is a big one. Красиво разрабно написано. Така чо красиво да пишу не сразу. Это обычное слово. Это блин. This is just a normal English word, honestly. This is the same reason why I. You see, there's a the word. Uh, dig uh, and uh, there's like the person who is doing that and uh, <coughs> the same problem I hate it you just have to like really make sure you're saying the correct like syllable or letter like oh my god it's... why I have to worry about this anyway you take a couple of minutes to examine his bag just in case while the riding equipment... I mean, there will be a gameplay here, Migatech. Uh, like, there's gonna be, you know, text-based combats and uh, other mechanics. It's just like I'm very at the beginning of the game, so yeah. But, of course, it's a text-based. That's gonna be not changing. You have to click options, you have to read, you have to see. Um, you wish it had something better to eat than a shabby grass. You should look for an inn. I need to unpack. Oh, there we go. There's three classes. Yeah, I, I mentioned earlier. You haven't brought that many things and you lost one of your sacks while fleeing the Crimson Course Eaters. Worst of all, you have no rope left. <laughs> rope? Well, uh, I mean... Maybe the soldiers could share one. Shouldn't cost more than a dragon bone. Aside from the trial set, you own a few valuable positions essential for a trade. So why the rope is so uh, rope is so important? Spend my savings on decent combat equipment. I have a fire fine gamson. X made of steel, a reliable crossbow. I have talismans that help me use my powers as well as iron axe and worn gamson. I carry writing instruments in alchemy. Uh, alchemical wait alchemical that's uh i mean i, I alchemy i mean is, isn't usually people write alchemy in greens not alchemical it's like chemical but alchemical uh well me i, I just didn't see that in video games i think that <laughs> often it's more chemical 
<laughs> Skull is also a potion maker. Of the bo oh, speaking of potion, there's so many potion maker games, and there's a potion permit that's pretty trendy indie game too, with a pixel art that is very cute. The main character looks like Isaac from the Golden Sun Uncanny. Anyway, uh, uh, as well as an Iron Axe, and so everybody have Iron Axe and a healing potion. Wow! I want to learn about more three classes. Oh damn, the game is gonna explain more here. Potion can have <laughs> the DAC. There's more. But I'll have easier time in physical challenges thanks to your superior equipment and hidden bonuses during dice rolls. Hidden bonuses during dice rolls? Hidden bonuses, great. Yeah, I heard from reviews there's dice rolls and something too. You'll be physically more capable than other classes, what opens unique opportunities during some social interactions. It's the yeah, Giga Chat. Do, 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 do. It's the best class for RPG beginners. The weakness of their reliance on physical strength. Your special abilities won't be available to you if your vitality point drop to zero. Ah, so you're still alive at zero points? Or they have steel eggs, yeah, I know, right? Matrix Pneuma. Versatile but limited pool of energy points. And it's good at cold in this game. Can be spent to cast a few humble spells. Magic won't protect you better than sharp eggs, but as a mage, you'll be able to heal faster while resting. Detect magic in a mysterious area. Distract a beast with a simple trick. And find a common tongue with other magic users. Using a mage power too freely will result in having no pneuma left when you need it the most. Oh man. So this limitation on the mana essentially. God damn it. Scholar will know more about the world's mysteries than you, helping you to take advantage of some unusual situations. Your character will impress the locals with the knowledge. So, yeah. Basically being like a bard alchemist then, you yeah. know. will be able to read spars, reading clues without anyone's assistance. Scholars struggle with combat more than other classes, but with enough carefulness and exploration, you'll gain access to alchemical mixtures that will help you escape from many dangerous situations. Mm-hmm. Fighter's Gear is basically freebies though, you have to find and pay for it. Extra hidden rolls. Well, gotta have something to stay on top. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, yeah, Fighter looks like... The like easy pick here. I mean, I kind of want to take the mage class because it sounds as exciting. There's gonna be, I mean, it's fantasy game, so there's gonna be a lot of like, as is mentioned here, mysterious area and what's not. Um, but yeah, I just want to see what kind of like that's a text game, yeah. So what kind of options we're gonna have at mage? Let's go. And pack and inspect your belongings. Your water skin isn't pierced. Like, I mean, I could expect enough what this fighter is gonna be, right? Uh, definitely other two classes looks more promising for me. Um, and before mage is the hardest, then I just did a mistake. <laughs> but it's okay. Your, oh, by the way, speaking of quick save slots, uh, there's, is there manual save slots? Oh, look at that interface. That's like a visual novels. <laughs> or one might say, if you guys are, you know, um, based, I guess, as Zoomers like to say these days, uh, this is a Lloyd's Beacon screen <laughs> um, from Might and Magic. Man, 3D, uh, New Worlds computing. I miss them so much. Anyway. Oh, look at that. There we go. Lloyd Beacon. I told you. I can't really say, but I'll say the skull robotting is slowest open up. I, I expect it because, yeah, not having a proper combat for right off the start of the game, I guess, kind of sucks balls. We fucked up. We saved after the class choice. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> open your enter to see your possessions. Did I open it? Food rations. Oh man, the game with the rations. Cartridge coins. Five. Gambison. Um, 
magic amulets, magic is unreliable, so you spend a sack of coin to collect a couple enhancing amulets. They help you focus. So basically, it's like a what a mage, like a, it's it's like a badge for mages. Yeah, I I don't have magic amulets. I'm not a mage, right? Trouble set. Your sex contain also. What do you mean? Trouble set. Just in case, cloak, bone needle, thread, iron knife, blade sharpener, tinder box, candles, rag. Mm, okay, well, simple battle legs. Okay, cool. Also got armor two po out of four. It will stop the lighter attacks, but not for long. Taking hits will damage armor. You can either fix it in various settlements or get another one. Yeah, Tino, which started back. Nothing too crazy. All right, so I unpack. The water skin is isn't Pierce's spare clothes are still there, just in case you take a look at your wooden bowl, mug, and, and cape, tender box. Ah, so it actually says here nothing special, too cumbersome. From time to time, your routine helps to avoid mistakes, but this doesn't make it more exciting. They're at the table again, observing a beast chatting between themselves. Your stomach grows in the side of them, eating the wooden balls. There's no meal for you, but you can sit down on tree log. I don't eat with them. I sit down and ask to them what she can tell me about this area. Oh, there's the nourishment now. Keeping your stomach full will make you stronger. Starvation will not allow you to restore vitality while resting. You can find your supplies in inventory. More gameplay. Oh, by the way, zero minutes before dusk. New gear is expensive. Repair is still expensive. But you gotta protect yourself somehow. Yeah, I hope so. She focused and chose her words carefully. She looks away only when she gathers her thoughts. I can only say as much as I know. That's, and that's not much. Additional stories of the soldier. As you can see, there is not a lot of us left. At the beginning of the summer, there was eight of us, including our previous lieutenant. Five are dead. One has run in tears. Run away in tears. We're also strangers in this land. Adds her companion. Any piece of information may help me in my job? The man leads forward. Still didn't know the name, by the way, that man, huh? His legs shake nervously. He sounds like a kid asking a bar to sing one more story, tell a joke, or do a magic trick. Whatever takes to escape from boredom. His untrimmed beard hides a much younger face than you originally thought. Oh, by the way, somebody if somebody's wondering on the chat right now, yeah, but, uh, so today is not going to be too long stream, yeah, as uh, my previous days, but we should be back on a schedule for tomorrow's morning stream. Wait, did my camera just land? Oh, that's weird. It's like when I'm L-tabbing through the game. I mean, when I'm returning back to the game, the the camera freezes a little bit. Do you see it too? Anyway, uh, my point was the uh, uh, the terminus, the zombie survivors are gonna continue probably tomorrow. Have a big plan for that tomorrow. Yeah. Wait, wait why the game does that? Well, I mean, it's. This engine here, who knows how it works really, right? But yeah, it, <laughs> it's like... I guess you can tell... Um, I guess stream and everybody... I mean, everybody could tell when I'm L-tabbing and returning back to the game if this... Or, well, hopefully it's not OBS or my webcam too. I need to check the, if this happens in other games, yeah, because this is kind of weird. I hope it's just this game. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. Uh huh. And trim bear hides much. In your face. What did the officials tell you? I expect not that much. No souls govern these lands. But I've discussed with the officials to stay between me and them. Think how unprepared you are for this task, since this area is too far away from 
Hovlavar. Keep it under control. You were warned that it's untamed and unknown. Who knows how many villages, bandits, or monsters be found on these unmapped hills and forests. It's a place for both dangers and opportunity. A great realm to spend the rest of summer. Actually, I would prefer to keep it that way, says Tule. Lest you tell us, the smaller the chance that the commanders will send us here again. There's bitterness in her brief letter. I'm fine with the soldier's life, you know. I just hope to find an outpost where I won't have to bid farewell to most people I know. Understandable. The tenant drinks from her cup and crosses her legs, ankle and knee. Seeing her chair makes you doubt that she'll ever find a comfortable position. Where should we start? Oh boy. Before I continue my journey to ask them about Peninsula, World War I and the rope. What's with the rope? Maybe it's like something important, but what's with the road anyway? I lost my rope. Could you spare one? You're in luck. She heads towards one of the crates and moves uh, aside a large linen sack, revealing rope. She brings it back. Take it. I was planning to leave it behind. A fine rope. I take it and offer some food in return. Oh, food in return. Bye, Zira. Okay, I mean, I don't have that much food, right? Five, no, two rations only, so... Um... Tula, how did he become lieutenant? That's not much of a story, honestly. She looks at her hand. She's currently rolling a mug over the table. In the city, there's a strict order of what should I call it? Um, well, leadership succession, I guess. Halavan. Chief selects commanders, those select lieutenants, those put their soldiers in order priority. If the lieutenant dies, they get replaced by the next soldier in line, so we are the successor. Nah, not exactly. When we fought the bandits, our lieutenant was hit by a slingshot. His boyfriend jumped to help him, but failed to protect either of them from a spell. It was like a ball of ice that hung above them and exploded, piercing their hats, completely avoiding their shield. Really unpleasant. She pauses. Uh... Jumping like that to save a man in the middle of attack doesn't suck a wise decision. And you were the third one in line, is that right? Basically, yeah. I didn't plan to become a leader, though. I'll get demoted once we return to the city. I'll prefer to follow anyway. If you were me, where would you go next? Soldier answers quickly. To the inn, of course. Grabs his empty mug. The one northwest from here. Northwest. I, I have a feeling I need to rec remember some things to here. <laughs> Northwest Inn, huh? If you can afford the room, the main hall is free of charge. Locals rarely get there. Northern Road is much more travel. Ah, it's too less. It's like, <laughs> this is the problem with me not reading ahead for voice acting, so it's like different voices and everything. Yeah. Locals rarely gather there, and the Northern Road is much more traveled. But the hunters will tell you about this and that, and you'll have a chance to introduce yourself. The innkeeper can listen, and knows many souls. Start when I don't have it to film my map. And tips on how to make a good first impression of him. Avoid cheap jokes, stick to trade, don't waste his time, show him that you can be relied on. Anything I should know about this camp? The story is brief. Some merchants build the camp to have an extra stop for mules and donkeys, just between the inn and the southern villages. There are plenty of grass here. Southern villages. And a pond nearby. When the peninsula grew more dangerous, the camp stood abandoned from time to time, serving as a shelter for travelers. The bandits came here. I, I'm going to be actually in before like I do this stream and I upload it to YouTube, and then people will actually request on YouTube like me playing this game just for the like a kind of like audio book. <laughs> I mean, that could happen. I I could see that, considering some visual novels I played in the past. I already had that experience with my community. Further paralyzing the exchange of information between the northern and southern settlements. Since their highwaymen are no more, the situation may reverse. Time will tell. You can sleep here whenever you want, the man concludes their tale. Though don't expect to wake up without pain in your back. <laughs> How was your squad's mission? 
Lieutenant looks into your eyes. You know, the usual. Making the road safe, keeping people alive. Explanatively important for me to know what they have been trying to accomplish. I can't really tell you. Do you have any other questions? Hmm. What happened to your school? The man shrugs. Bandits happened. Monsters. Strong band, though. Strong band. When we got to the peninsula in spring, we saw some people living in this camp. Lieutenant decided to avoid it and look for an inn. We had to travel through the night for a bit. Beard's soldier scuffs and crosses his arm, but she carries on. Ah, they're changing fucking... Okay, this is... Like, they're changing pattern of who talks. Okay. I decided to... Uh, otherwise, we would all have died the day. Innkeeper explained that the camp is a trap. And armed ones pretend to be soldiers. Stay there at night, lose everything you have. Sounds like slave hunters. Very much so. They killed some and took others away. Who knows where. They were letting the northerners go, hoping to avoid their wrath. It kind of worked, as a soldier. We asked them for help, but they refused. We had to clear the entire camp on our own, and that's why three of our people died. Don't exaggerate. It's not like the lieutenant didn't make a mistake. He wanted to get rid of them and take over the camp, but we didn't know our enemy well enough. We were outnumbered, and he had an ice mage among them. She looks at you. At least we cleared the road. Saved lives. You mentioned monsters as well? Nothing that will surprise you. Those of us survived the skirmish were young. Two inexperienced to spend a summer in this place without a good leader. And they didn't trust me. One of them got caught in by the trend. Trends in the game. Another one ignored my orders to perform some, some ritual hunt. So a were-bear tore her to pieces. Last one tried to act tough, didn't tell us that he had cut his hand while cleaning up his gamison. She lets gas and chuckle. Had to cut it off. He was so ashamed that he decided to walk north, find a new life. Disappear. Idiot. What a colorful journey that man tries to drink from his mug, but it's empty. <laughs> Lol. You made this safe pla this place safer. Barely. Who knows if it was worth those lives and effort. She doesn't trust me enough to tell me about the squad's mission. Yeah, doesn't trust. Any ideas what happened to the previous World Warden? Aren't you a bit late for rescue mission? <laughs> we haven't heard from him for almost half a year. The soldiers speak for a bit between themselves, trying to get their story straight. They confirmed they had stopped by the camp a few times, but stopped showing at all early, early summer. The bearded soldier starts to scratch the table with the tip of his knife without looking at you. I don't remember his voice. Always busy drowning and things to take care of. He would sit somewhere, sharpening his sword. Fix his loud mail, clean clothes, write notes on that wax tablet of his. Yeah, and live at dawn. Unlike us, a stereo never gets bored. Tula lets out a chuckle. He's secretive, but some of the locals speak about him warmly. Maybe he just doesn't like us. Sounds like you're not sure if he's dead or not. If anyone knows, they wouldn't tell us. Maybe someone is keeping him in the basement, the man covers the fashion. We haven't seen him or his sour end. Something ate them, my bet. Officials have hired you, right? They don't expect him to return. Richer award warnings often use four-legged eat-meeting saurians as their mounts. They have to be tamed and trained since they're hatching. But unlike horses, they can easily defend themselves from many monsters. At least your palfrey is fast and reliable, and one suddenly sink its teeth into an innocent passerby. <laughs> well, that's... Uh... That's an interesting way of dealing, I guess. With problems. Just just, just be rich, yeah. Do you know what he was looking for? Maybe he left you a message? Neither one of us had any insight uh, into his dealings. My princess has left me no clues. Well, also took a look at the steering stuff. Wait! I almost forgot! She stands up, heads to the nearby tent. Head he has kids in a village near Horlovan. 
I was planning to take all his things there. A pouch, a second spear, decent bow, some potions. Wait, yeah, his thing. Quite a treasure, she wants to do. But I would much prefer to bring them to the truth about their father. So you want me to find out what happened to him in exchange for his stuff? Here is the catch. We've hired a messenger to ask commanders for further orders. Since she hasn't returned and you know nothing about her, she either ran away or something happened to her. She sides with her resignation. We're meant to stay here until fall. What do you think? Yeah, maybe this is the time limit, actually. The Why the game have like 40, 30 days time limit, right? Come see us, tell us what you learn about the man, and we will get back to Havlovan together. You think about your real mission. You were planning to return to Havlovan in early fall anyway. If he's alive, I don't think he's going to be happy about me taking away all his possessions. New journal entry, find early warden. Use a journal to see the list of quests. Hu quest humans, groups and places, bestiary glossary. Pelt, innkeeper, manager, the pelt of the north, according to Tula, he prefers. Whoa, there's a look at that. There's information about the, like, people. Damn, the game re re records everything. That's awesome. That is awesome. Exactly what I want. Besher, yeah. Apes, monkeys, beastful corpse eaters, dragonlings, dragons, foxes, and such. Gargles, goblins, golems, griffins, harpies, howlers, hunt lords, large cats, pebblers, runners, saurians, spiders, trends, trolls, undead, unicorns, wolves. So that's the entire game. Um, I guess monsters lists, quote unquote monsters. But you still need to keep some things in mind, probably, yeah. Glossary. Religion, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of it here. Politics and geography. Magic. Alchemy, blood magic, curses, blessings, enchanting, learning magic. Necromancy. This is a lore explanation here, too. Daily life. Cool. I will legit read that uh, in my own time or in the next uh, streams if we're gonna continue that. I'm gonna push forward right now. So, the final question is Peninsula Yam. Or what I... Archive is called Log, basically, in this. Possession. I click the possession phrase. True, but he's considered dead. I doubt he'll begrudge you anything. And who knows? You may just find his shell lying on the road side tomorrow. He wears mail, uses spear mostly, maybe five feet tall, but stood long red beard, short hair, pale face, rarely smiles. She glances at her companion, but after he has nothing, she sees down and stretches out her legs. Let's find out what happened to him, dead or alive, left. Just let me know. What should I know about Peninsula? I'll tell you what I know. And you'll be the judge, says the lieutenant. How long did it take you to get here from the city? On a distant palfrey, I guess it will be three, four days. Then you confirm she continues. From here, you can reach the coast in about a day. As long as you don't make any stops. Do you know the situation? Why no ships get can get here? You're not. The sea route allows Holovan officials to keep in touch with the coastal villages, collect taxes, move the soldiers, collect lumber, deliver tools, but maintaining order on a wild coast such as this one is like filling the ocean depths with coins. And because of the rocks, you could hardly stop a ship five miles offshore or boats again get much closer. She nods. I don't know much about fishing, but there's not that many people living by the shore, and they don't care to stay in touch with the city folk. As she pauses, her companion carries on. 
No soul from the north ever came to the camp, but when we traveled to the roadside and built to the north, they're happy to trade and to play dice. Might I just stay in one of the settlements? Oh wow. These options. The man clears his throat. I mean, you know, we, we're here to guard this road. The camp is our post, and well. She lowers her voice. Don't take it the wrong way, Pornus, but. Are you a devout soul? You're asking my religion here. There's no evidence of the rite's existence and all the mystical tales are explained by magic now. <laughs> like most city folk. Hey, Rainbow Author. I believe that people should unite their strength to overcome threats made from dark magic. Everyone will be judged by both good and deeds. United Church. This is like a, the balance here, yeah. For many years, a support monastery that does its best so advancement, can spiritual growth, artistry, herbalism, and magical research. I follow the teachings of Order of Truth from a small village. My freedom of shell, new moons, solar main virtues of life. My community is unique and independent. I have my place in my fellowship. <laughs> well, sounds also something cool for mage here. I have a strong connection with nature spirits and follow the path of my ancestors. Some of my beliefs to be considered sinister and treacherous by the city folk. You'll probably call me pagan. Or pagan. I think it's pronounced. Yeah, um... Alright then. Yeah, pretty good uh, religion options here. Mm. I'll go with Order of Truth. Oh, I see. I don't know much about a River of Faith, but I'm sure we're not that different. I'm Unite myself. Ah. <laughs> she said with a sort of pride in her voice, so she follows the United Church. Maybe just explain what you were thinking. Of. Mm -hmm. The people here are disquieting. Disquieting, that's an interesting word. Every few words, she taps the table with her finger. Their traditions will help them negotiate with their officials. Here, she starts to draw lines with her index finger as she's pointing out an invisible map. The peninsula is connected with the roads like a big circle. In the northwest, you will find a weird village. At a bog. It's not exactly a pagan, I don't think. It's even had a priest who claims to be a Ramite. You know, she means a fellowship. They will do crazy shit. They use the dead to cut down trees and, and uh, dig in soil. Once I saw it, I begged to never return there. I see. I've heard tales such as this one since you were a child. If an isolated settlement managed to survive without the city influence, its custom traditions grow more and more alien. Every generation learns how to adapt in dangerous conditions they have to deal with, and a rustic pagan traditions modeled their river of faith. United Church often warns its members about a crazy druids, necromancers, and blood mages. Brings of doom, traitors to mankind. Um, and how about the East? She stares across the camp. Hard to tell. Went there only once. There are hills, forests, rivers. There's so tunnels, cult and leaves and branches, but we didn't enter it. Wild is all around. Um, any monsters worth mentioning? Anything that could catch my mount? We saw all sorts of beasts. The man starts to count with his feet. Goblins, trends, cats large and small, runners, howls, wolves, spiked boars, all from eaters, griffins. But we managed to stay away. Some could catch up with the most mounds, though a palfrey should be fine. The trees are so tall that the flying creatures keep the coast and, and uh, mountains. There is not that many humans around, and the animals are busy fighting among themselves. They fight more for food than territory. Soldier crafts his knuckles. Don't provoke them and ride fast. Just count on luck. Were you able to speak with these necromancers? You can see why we were not eager to go if we would have would. Lieutenant Shackles. Maybe they will be more welcome in the road warning. <laughs> the roads are dangerous. Of little to no shelters. People need your help. 
The manager turns a bit and points finger northwest. If you're heading to the undead village, you'll get an in first. And soon. <laughs> yeah, Pelt over the north is a safe place. You can talk with the innkeep and the guards. Yeah, the game is basically suggesting me to go to the north, uh, the west here quite a bit. That's all I need to know. I'm afraid we can do more for you. It's getting late. We should prepare for the night. Very much so. And you will need a lot of sleep on your journey. Yeah. Archive, basically, log. Hmm. So these are my, uh, uh, like my talking phrase, and the rest is not. Still, simple, inter usually, like, I mean, it would, like, this game doesn't have avatars or icons or anything, but still, if it's say porn is here or which character, but it's 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 more like a book here, you see. So the the text is written like in a book style, yeah, uh, rather than uh, talking from Poff. Um, all right, I stand up and prepare for the night. Stay tidy. What the hell is that? Even? Appearance five out of five. Another stat. Stay tired to have a better chance to influence others. You don't stand out of crowd, you won't get much cleaning without the proper bath. Proper bath. So it's just about cleaning or actually having clothes or some fancy bullshit. You go to the barrel and splash water in your face, which makes you even more aware of how much you need a bath. After a night it will only get worse. Your horse is already napping, still too anxious to lay down. Wow. I look for a place to protect from wind. I use a bag of my pillow, put my blanket on the ground and cover myself with my cloak. You aren't used to sleeping in such harsh conditions, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. And this part of the music, once again, reminds me of RimWorld. I'm gonna sleep at the... <laughs> Remember when in RimWorld you start a run, you, you're like sleeping without a roof, houses or anything, you just gotta... Gotta sleep at the floor. <laughs> Weather gentle, maybe you won't get a catch. Cold, a catch a cold. Stars and slints party dreams, both with their splendor and by making you look for patterns and shapes among them. Your job starts tomorrow. I focus on the real goal in my journey. So basically, if I lose the run or I want to start uh, another run, I probably will just click these options for the my background, aka religion class and uh, the the type of the, like basically i can just speed run this and uh, what if we just spend one hour well less than one hour but still this is like a very intro stay clean stay hygienic yeah pretty much new journal explore the peninsula well it's like a main quest there yeah. the merchant guild wants to take control of this realm your wandering duties are secondary first and foremost you need to explore the peninsula Learn about territory, resources, and threats. Get to know locals, and if you can, convince them to consider negotiation with Havelman. Officials and traders. Man, this, this quest kind of reminds me a little bit of like Curious Expeditions 2, except that, well, different settings and all. <laughs> Fine locals convince them and all. Trait. Mmm, I love it. By the way, apparently I was pronouncing conquistadors incorrectly all this time. Like in English, I mean. I was watching Breaking Bad. Um, still watching. And to my surprise, there was like in one episode, uh, one of the characters randomly mentioned conquistadors and the pronunciation was completely different, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I should probably double check on uh, Google Translate pronunciation. I don't know. Um, also a great game series, by, if, for those who don't know. Turn-based uh, action there, too. Turn-based lovers would enjoy it. Alright, so could the tribes resolve or tread or priests of the United Church? Are there any forbidden practices that need to be eradicated, such as blood magic, necromancy, robbery, or slavery? At least I have time. 40 days to be exact. I need to be 
as thorough as I can. And now the game begins, right? Nighttime. Not really, it's nighttime right now. Once you finish your reconnaissance, you should speak with two of them. But yeah, having a. Like, I would not be able to do this, this what I'm doing right now, if I was, like, back on my streaming career start when I was, like, 12 years ago, yeah? I had a really significant accent also back then, and it was, like, it, yeah, everything was just on a different level. I was not that confident in English talking, and I... Back then I still knew a lot of it, and uh, I was very comfortable with, like, browsing and reading and understanding and everything, but actual being entertainer and streamer and talking a lot on the constant, like, actual, like, American or... Uh, yeah, that, that was not possible back then. But now, you can even freaking read books here on stream and be totally fine. Like I am, it's just, that's, that's what I, <laughs> the normal thing for me here. Except that I'm, instead of my family talking or somebody in real life, I'm just talking to the screen microphone. Anyway, um, there you report back to employees and get your reward. In the meantime, you, you have your own goal to pursue. I need to get the some extra coins so I can help a person I care about. You, you have a person to care? Ah, you mean maybe a horse? <laughs> no, a person. It's, I need to get some extra coins so I can retire them. Ah, it's selecting my goal basically, yeah. Hey, Johanan. If I get enough connections among local leaders, I'll use them to become major player in the merchants' guilds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, people, Seth here. I wonder if Seth was gonna accept commission of such a game. Though, yeah, the Seth definitely enjoys games where you can like roleplay to crazy parameters. Like that station, space station game and Cades of Quid. He just loves these type of games. Man, I, <laughs> that organ seller simulator. <laughs> Wait, is, I forgot. Is that game on Steam actually? Or it's like Ichu or something? I don't even. Organ. Yeah, the Space Warlord Org is that o Space Warlord Organ Training Simulator? That was the name. Anyway, yeah, that was that cool game there too. Inflation game. <laughs> well, sometimes he he um, likes to cover some kinks for the content. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on Steam. Uh, anyway, um, my goal, yeah, if I gather enough connections among... Yeah, I read that. I want to be remembered as a soul who brought peace in order to let Rama here. I just want to help... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention it, but it's all very obvious. Like, everybody who is watching right now, it would be awesome and support of the channel if you can click the link here, sponsor it, even if you're not, you know, exactly want to wishlist the game or purchase it or just in general, clicking the link helps. And also, it's the first uh, gig from the part, uh, the the platform that I started using relatively recently, Lurkit. Um, gonna get that. Uh, I mean, gonna get that good reputation there too. Like on platforms like Catapult or whatever noise, I have so many countless like gigs completed and everything. But on Lurkit, I'm pretty sure some. I I already missed quite a bit of a chunk of opportunities there on Lurkit just because my account says there. Tornas didn't complete anything yet, zero gigs. So like, yeah, but in reality, in the <laughs> I have a huge uh, history already here. 
The game where he was sponsored to play was also great. I wonder why he knew it. Wait, the game where he was sponsored by... I mean, he got sponsored for a lot of things. Which game are you talking about? Like, he... I mean, he did a spon funny sponsorship for the VPN, which was like a very scripted and everything. Um, the hero, I just want to help people make the region safer for locals and newcomers alike. That's a cool thing. Yeah, lurk it. It's another platform where people can get game keys and, uh, and the partnership, uh, sponsorship gigs. Well, if you're a YouTuber or streamer. A new uh, competition arrived to other platforms who do the same thing. The one he was paid to play the MMO and then was stuck. Ha! <laughs> this one! <laughs> that one, yeah. I need to find a new life for myself. I have a difficult past and I want it to be forgotten. Okay, so I'm not sure how this really, like, benefits me, but just roleplaying, perhaps, but... Fuck it, let's get this one. Pneuma, 3 out of 5. You can use magical amulets to cast minor, minor spells. Uh, Vector, is this only exclusive to Mage or Warder? Uh, other classes also have Pneuma. I assume this is my exclusive. You gain troll during the night, press sleep button to rest. Your half of sleep senses are catching the sounds of the wild forest. Your instincts keep you alert and noxious. Through the, well, just quick alone and sick kind of worries me because it definitely gets safe scum of, of rolls then and like, I mean, again, I'm n not at all, you, you know me, like I I don't do that, but since this is like a visual novel type game too with this interface, the game suggests to quick save a lot and quick load too. But yeah, we'll see how this whole thing goes. You maybe you probably need to make like a, some your own role of, you know, Iron Man maybe later too. Only the mages get that stat, yeah, like, awesome. Humid late summer air air vents. <laughs> air evens and slowly you're thinking about your goal but you need to gather your strength. All I can do is sleep. Sleeping on the ground, your blanket won't be much from the battle Palisade barely covers you from the wind. Sleeping here will be severely uncomfortable. Wait, I will lose HP for that. I will lose to hungry thing, and I will lose coolness. You don't, you don't need to eat now. Such. Oh wait, does something happens already at night? Night time, still. You take a look at your amulets. For most people, they would be nothing more than trash, but you wouldn't sell them. Ah, maybe it's like a gas, some kind of like protection spell at night. But you wouldn't sell them for powder dragons and bows. Use them to shape new might you will with your little mementos. A few spells you're familiar with are more reliable. Who knows, maybe there's already some power held in them. You look at the old through clean bandages that remembers those in herbal balms and wounds. You, you can put them on your hurting muscles, bruises, and scratches them. How in the old song about time, which either heals all wounds or kills us too soon to let us bother with your problems. After a few hours or so, Lionel will warm up, confirming a dead it is off. It's a kind of like a heal spell, essentially, yeah, with the bandage. Maybe it'll even the pain of sleeping on the ground, though you'll lose some of your energy. I don't need to restore my pneuma to I perform the ritual. So, but I'm supposed to recover, like, at, I think, one, so... It's cost two, but I will get one back, right? Well, we'll see, I guess. Fuck it, let's save HP. Yeah, I've been with 2 out of 5 now. Well, Vitality, yeah. 
No, I don't I don't think it changed. I was supposed to get one pneuma. So I had three. Yeah, it makes sense. Didn't get scammed. Because the scam would be then pneuma one out of five without recovering yeah. You're surrounded by sunlight, your book begs you to stand up before you fully awake, you smell a roast. No, burning meat! Burning, rotting meat! Scott crawls towards your consciousness. Stand up normally, you would dust off your cape and blacken, but your instincts are stronger than your routine. Your horse is looking around nervously. Your bags are where you had left them. You see an open gate. What is happening? Also, the music is still... Yeah, now we're like... What is that right now? Oh, there's the before autumn and uh, 14 hours before dusk. 14 hours, huh? Okay. Both soldiers standing near the humble part. The man in the shirt looks... We still don't know his name. Looks in contempt... Con contemplatively... Damn, I don't say that word too much. But yeah, I know what that is. Tula is the first one to address you. Pornus! Use the horse manor for the flames. Don't worry about cleaning up. <laughs> See corpse among the flames. It's impossible to tell if it belongs to male or female. But it was an adult. The burning process won't be over for a couple of more hours. A traveler or undead. Ladder. Young one. She liked the human to understand that she couldn't get inside the camp without climbing. I step her with steer spear from same distance. One more fog. She'll be a real threat. Even now, a couple hits to knock her down. Sooner or later, every human shell wakes up, gaining more strength. Each soul devours, and each moment it spends in the fogs. Burning the dead is not just a religious practice; it's necessity. Burning, I mean, the soldiers, priests, village mayors, even road wardens. Making a large pyre takes a lot of time, but it saves lives. And you know what else saves lives? Fake thighs. Julia calls this undead a she. Most unites hesitate to do so. Really? Interesting detail there. Time for me to leave. Running away from Rika. <laughs> Don't blame you. She looks again at the fire. Find us here if you learn what happened to us, Tyrion. We leave once the fall comes. If not sooner, safe travels. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready me to get fucked in the wilderness? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Those words make you stop. An old farewell mocked a number of songs and tales, but yet you, you hear no scorn to his voice. She observes the fire with one hand on her hip, the other one on her chin. Prepare myself for the journey. You gather your equipment and spend half your hour warming up and preparing the mount, double checking the buckle straps, put on gamas on. Make sure that you access tightly attached to your belt, then get to the saddle. Balfrey. Uh, does that. Use the trail button to see the map. In a, uh huh, now we got the map unlocked. Also, didn't I need food? Starvation weakens you in physical struggles. Can I eat? How can I eat, by the way? You can. He's the inventor right now. No. Uh, ready to leave. It's time for you to get the crossroads north from here. But what if I go? Well, there's only north passage apparently. Yeah. I need to ride north. Travel. Aha! There we go. The start of the game. Map key. Is map key. Sh huh? Show map key. Nighttime shelter. It's, it, it, map keep means like um, a legend of the map. Travel forward to continue journey. Once you're done to the north, speak with Tula and return. Well, I mean, that's probably going to not be soon. Tula's camp. Military outpost surrounded by wooden wall. Yeah, there's like a nighttime shelter there icon. Yeah, the gameplay time. I mean, everything is gameplay here. But... Even at a later hour, you wouldn't expect to meet any trails in a valley. A warm 
Summer breeze lowers your mound forward, but the serene chirping of birds quickly replaced by the distracting screeches and gurgles come from further down the path. You soon find a pack of four-legged griffins. Oh, God. They are larger than foxes and merge the features of birds and furred beasts. Each one is a different size, coat, and colors, and their temperaments are just as varied. Their fronts are covered with vivid feathers, while their rears have darkened fur. Their wings are massive, making them impressive jumpers, but they are too heavy to fly. About two dozen beasts are yelling, crawling, and chasing each other around, blocking your path. <laughs> I consider my options. Seek shelter. Wait, what is that? There's a new icon now. A winged hourglass hidden. Steel pendant hanging from leather strap. It's a common where's the drill demonstrated. One's a legend to the right. A legend to the right? Wait, what? Is it my uh order of truth thing? It's order of truth, right? So wait, I still cannot use probably. Um. Yep, uh, consider my options. Oh, there we go. Time to say scam. You can enter the forest blindly. If these are other creatures worth a chase after you, the thicket would be disastrous for your corpse. There are reasons why trolls stay as close to the roads as possible and why adventurers move in groups. Usually the safest approach would be to stay where you are and just wait for the pack to get hungry. It may, however, take up a couple hours. You're thinking about your conversation with Tule. You've got a lot to do, and time may be the essence. Symbol of right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned like most of them there. If you have enough Pneuma, you can cast spells to access unique interactions. To restore new way into rest. Yeah, I can click this here. So the icon marks the actions that involve a random chance. I take my axe and hurry the horse. If we ride fast enough, we should be fine. I should stay here better stay than sorry. I grab an amulet and shape a missile of light. Harmless flare will frighten them off. Well, it's just like already wasting my mana on that, you know. All right, fine, sure. You can learn more about your abilities in the character sheets. Oh, character sheet unlocked. Appearances, cleanliness, regular vitality, clothes need no special appearance. Your clothes are not stained with blood. You got a regular outfit. Common experience, seekers, a member of order of truth, faith, undetermined, spared animals, none. Depending on your belief, saving the spirit animals either makes you weakling or soothe your souls. Wow, dude. Lies. Lion gives you a quick benefit, but may turn against after some time. Some lies are difficult to pull off with an expected liar. Seeing experience. Gambling experience. Oh, yeah. Time to get judged by the game, yeah. True. Yeah, I, and again, like, I. I w Safe, safe loading is quite expected here. I don't think you like if you mess up a little bit and then like, bro, you're dead and that's all. You gotta start a new character and then. And the other Iron Man will be quit or. But then again, yeah. Then trial and error essentially becomes a thing where safe's coming. And yeah, there's a quick. Uh, the, my camera blocks these buttons for those who are wondering how I'm accessing that stuff. But yeah, I can save here. You grab one of all the amulets and pendant made of leather and a single dim pearl, the little sphere covered of cryptic engravings. But there's. Yeah, this is cool. Like, like once you already experience uh, some events, yeah, you can just like click and uh, fast forward yeah and i'm playing the first time so obviously i have to you know, go through a uh, process of checking just in case i gonna miss something important you know holding a pearl between your fingers you feel the pleasant familiar warmth the spell you're about to cast is not much more than a mere illusion but you take a couple of breaths trying to minimize any risk of failure it will leaves your shell 
formed a white ball that you barely comprehend. When it falls next to the griffins for a couple of blinks, it emits dazzling light. Animals squeak and snarl, fleeing in the multiple directions at once. The road is now clear. Yeah! The war would just kill all of them and probably get the blood also on the armor. I ride forward and enjoy the touch of my pen and it cools down slowly. Mm -hmm. Illusion. Uh, I mean. Oh, achievement unlocked. A new adventure. Keep track of your achievements as your journey unfolds. Achievements? Achievements! We got achievements. Reach the first crossroads. Oh, yeah. Road splits. According to what soldiers have told you, you may find a safe intern by left. Force to the right is lush and trail overgrown. Kids used to have this song. How did it go? Hardest pathway leads to the grag layer. Those who search for treasure, do they truly dare? Signposts in the front. A few doesn't make any situation much clearer. There's a split here by someone who can write. For folks who can read. Covered in old red paint. It points east. Blood there. As people say, danger to be found. Oh god. There is not a soul to ask for guidance. I look at my horse. What's its name? Um, what's the name of my horse, huh? Um, Chuck him. Chuck is as peaceful as your stroke. It's mean. Maybe it can help you choose a path, but you spend many years together. Happy to go on? Takes a couple of steps forward. You spot a few berry shrubs and wild cabbages. Cabbages? What? Cabbages! Cabbages! Sorry, I'm an avatar nerd. Always, forever. One of the best things I ever watched in my life. Non Jensen. <laughs> uh, but they still need to at least two weeks to gain maturity. Time to make a turn. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, yeah. Gotta go, um, eat an apparent on the route. No balls to go into the bloody. Shaki throats with ease, and by the few branches covering a beaten road, other birds, songs, distance halls draw your attention to the forest, which gets worse and brighter. I mean, still kind of like there's gonna be some of the undead stuff and necromancers, it seems like nearby. You spot the boar, or deer and sirens. The sight of the nearby wolf pack worries you, but once you push your hips forward and your palfrey enters the canter, continue. Uh, the beast don't even begin a pursuit. The speed alone will protect you from many dangers. You notice a stone tower taller than the trees. Must be the inn I have heard about. Ends like this fit the regions traveled by the merch. Oh, by the way, I can check the map, yeah, as I... Yeah, this is the map. Safe water source, it says here, apparently. <laughs> well, you better be having fucking in with the water source. Wouldn't expect a place of this size in Forsaken Peninsula. The stone and lumber must have been transported far away, and the workers, guarded by expensive mercenaries, surely lived my many season in primitive hamlet. Subsisting of salted supplies. There's seemingly no cracks in the walls. In a building was a whitewashed only a few years back. The road is white and beaten. Those no souls could hide in other buildings. Then at least the yard. The expenses of labor put into this fortress were worth many trading ships. Three armed people are in the ramparts, though you only see what's above their waistline. They're leading in the par parapet. Right next to the gate, and you think that you notice a glimpse of a smile. They wear gamsons. One of them yield died differently. Yellow, green, and lime gray. I approach the gate. Let's see how many hours we spent. Not as much. A woman in yellow armor leans forward. She had long, curly, disorderly red hair. Pointing in every possible direction. This combination of clothes doesn't work at all. And it was. 
One would have to draw this much attention. Yellow and red, huh? There's still a fair distance between the two of you, but she speaks loudly. I hadn't seen horrors for years now. I just said that it's weird to see such a large jackass, huh? Her voice is young and strong with accent that reminds you of villagers spread around Holland, but no jackass would be our saddle, I say. She exchanges a few words with a male guard wearing green, giving you time to move closer. Well, this one here says... Well, this one here says there really are donkey saddles. I say trailer. How hard is to ride a horse? I better give it a try. I love even below it. Lessons were a pain. I don't answer her. Same as in this open gate. <laughs> White heart, honestly, some days are still rough in me. It's easy to learn the basics, but it's tiring. You train different muscles than those for combat. You don't see! What sort of muscles? Climb down, stain, concise that point. You point at the back, hips, and thighs. Then speak about the training routine that a rider falls to stay in a saddle for more than two days. As you enter the yard, the woman also uses a ladder to get off the wall, then leads you under the roof, where the palfrey can rest, tethered with cord and wooden posts, near some old hay. Once you're ready, go inside. Speak with our boss. She, uh, he has time. There aren't any trailers around. Boss? Other guards take care of various chores. They peek under your mount every now and then as they're spitting firewood. Splitting. <laughs> Spitting. Splitting firewood, cleaning their clothes, wetting the garden patches and moving chairs. Two of them are making a rope. Head towards the end. Hearing the piercing scream of the boar the other side of the yard. Open the door. New shelter unlocked. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you're at the inn in the morning, you can spend an entire day in resting. But I mean, what does it mean morning only? What about the other... I mean, of course you can spend it. Just probably without some bigger, bigger bonus. Locked windows make air stuffy and the weak fire in the stove hardly lightens up the hole. A muscular man is sweeping the floor near the stairs, but after he glances, you, he leans the broom against the wall and heads behind the counter. You're lucky to show up. His voice is deep and soft with a city like accent. He observes you with a keen attention, yet avoids your eyes. I got keg of decent ale, wormwood, bog myrtle, juniper berries, cat's food. Fills a mug carefully, puts on a countertop. It's gonna spoil soon. today, maybe. And we don't drink here before they even. I hate to see the good stuff going to waste. His skin is dark, almost purple, rare even among the Saren tribes. And his it's purple? His hair is naturally bluish. Okay. <laughs> His clothes are quite fancy for men all over. The elegant tunic wouldn't stand out in the city square. Stand counter. The planks let a creak after every step you make, so you slow down a bit. You could swear that the innkeeper made little to no noise. Here you go. Just so you know, my belt owner doesn't belong to Hollowan. He can slip on the floor if he wish so. They wouldn't bat our mail. Have to pay. May have some leftovers from dinner, but I'll need to check. Thanks for a drink, I see you know how to make friends with a road warden. Able to help, so I'm more than capable of talking care of an entire cask. I won't stay here for long. I'm not here to pay compliments, please send them luck. Oh yeah, what, uh, it says like quick and uh, no, uh, the character, no, nah. journal, yeah. He prefers to stick to Trey, doesn't like to waste time and jokes and empty gestures. He runs and fills another mug this time with water. 
I guess there's no point in waiting for Esther and then. I'm glad to see him. Don't appeal to the legends. Uh, I'm glad to see someone taking his place. Even my crew here hits the road only if they need to see the healers of the uh, Howler's Dell. And they're more than resourceful. A road warrior is always going to find work here, too, in the north. Though maybe not on an eastern road. <laughs> Come on, I mean, there's a, the entire game is huge here. Look at the map. So, of course, there's something going to be in east there, too. Takes a mouthful of water and drinks it with a pleased sigh. There are no guests here this time. Hardly ever. I can take a short break. I drink the ale, I ignore the ale and tell the man I have a couple of questions. Hmm. Sure, I drink. A dark room and wooden walls and mug make the liquid look as brown as a chestnut. Lean spring hits your nose and the first sip is even too complex, too flowery. While the brewer has used fancy ingredients, exotic uh, liquors ruins the aftertaste. Now you know why there's no s so much left. Maybe it takes a quart taste. <laughs> Thank you for not. I was hoping to see someone willing to patrol the roads. Maybe you'll help me with a warning thought. Uh, I have. Which is it? There are brigands in the woods. Our place is a stronghold, so I'm not afraid of the open strike. But they're gotten more active in the two last years. One day. They may steal our furs, and I have no doubt there are a reason why merchants come here only once. Having bandits around gets expensive. He rubs his hands together to kind of flesh and kiss pose. I want you to reach Howler's Dell, northwest from here. It's the largest settlement around, I'm sure you'll get there sooner or later. Ask face the mayor about Glacia, that bloodthirsty wolf of the woman. I heard rumors about a raid in the north. Glass is ready to break the truce with locals. I'm willing to join forces with them to get rid of her band. He looks at the nearby dragon bone. Not too difficult, right? <laughs> Just do it when you have a chance. A couple days won't make much of a difference. I pay you two coins when you get back with the news. Fine. Two coins is a lot in this game, apparently, huh? Well, I mean, depends how much, really, like... I mean, it's pro we can probably do a lot of things in one day in this game, but, yeah. Imagine not be able to eat. Also, yeah, I have a bunch of coins, five, apparently, yeah. Three. New entry glasses bent. He does with a smile. What else do you need? I got bit into some quest. Oh, well, I'm here. I want to help people make this region safe. Oh, wait. So my goal is actually a quest. That's so cool. The main quest that I chose there. To get rich or become a hero. Like, get, help others. God. Mm, interesting, interesting. He melts with a smell. I could eat something. Do you have a leftovers? What do you have for sale? Do I have anything you'd like to buy? Different traders are interested in different goods. They will purchase on some things you have to sell and offer as my Pulled some of us, but I didn't give a shake. He said, I don't need those, nor I could sell them. I'd rather make coins, not waste them. So bring me something of value. Yep. Yeah. By the way, I need to pay attention if talking actually also, like, minutes. Uh, um, okay, let's see here. A lot of thing. Do you have any leftovers? Yes. I feed them to a boar. I wouldn't give them away for nothing. Tells you to wait, then leaves the building for a few minutes and returns with a wooden bucket and a long stick uh, ending with a hook. Go through the gate and turn left. You will see a bunch of bushes. We need some berries. Bring me a bucket full. You will be done 
in half an hour, sir. Your horse could use a nap anyway, and I'll prepare something to fill you. The cook is not made of metal, it's a long car of clone. Almost black. Four little berries. Irish for tools, half an hour, that's quite a lot for berry packing. Picking. Tools are cold, not too heavy. There is a pair of thick gloves at the bottom of the bucket. Yeah, the bears are not a problem. <laughs> I like the sticks. Very scare them away with a stick. Move them with a hook. Protect your hands. The little ones won't eat you, but don't get bitten. Sure, you know how to be patient. I have other questions. So, this is also a quest now. No. Probably some mini thing. Um, Schrader, uh, safe water source, daytime rest, nighttime shelter, trader. So those are icons, yeah. I'm looking for a stern, the previous world warden. How are you now? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be much of a help. He rests his elbow on a tabletop and grunts quail and clear his throat. But I do want you to find him, so... When he asked about intentions, he measured his words. Asterion and I made a risky deal. May well a very promising one. Last time he was here, he took 50 coins. My half of the investment. He knocks on the table with the fists, anxiously. If you get my coin, or at least find out what happened to the guy, I'll make sure you won't be disappointed after bringing me the news. Could it be that Austin stole the coins and ran away? <laughs> he looks at the window and starts to play with the shutter. I just think Asterion ain't the kind of soul that would do such a thing. For him it wasn't much of a fortune, and I'll risk saying he had earned my trust. Not only mine, you know. It's easy to avoid one to make connections. He always had place to go, things to take care of. He rubs the table with his thumb and is trying to clean an invisible stain. I ask travelers. I send a couple of my pals to find him. No real news. I know he stayed in the wide marshes for a day and was meant to do something for the people there. It's a village in the northwest to stay. Just stay in the main road until you reach the bogs, then enter them. You may get there before dusk. <laughs> yeah, not for these... Uh... Extra tusks I'm getting you. So let me know once you find it. What mostly it says you may get there before dusk. What if I just literally waste time and just skip turn by doing nothing and sleeping? If the game allows me that, will he change his uh, warning? Anyway, um, maybe the game is self-aware. Maybe like if I spent too much time somewhere, that's gonna be. Uh... Yeah. So, let me know once you find anything. We might get yet to return to this whole investment thing. I'll think about it. Journal updated. Uh, it's, time doesn't go forward right now, so it's, it's apparently traveling and doing stuff that is actually important. What can you tell me about Peninsula? Well, what could anyone say? This place doesn't even have a name unless there is old book in the archive that no soul knows about. You know what I'll call your thing from here to the coast? The hunting ground. It's not us who hunt, keep that in heart. But the beast in all shapes and forms. His words gain calm and slow, which is strained by his deep voice. I lived in this inn for over 10 years now, and I've only seen a couple of roads, a couple of places. Just uh, once you get here, you see how harsh it is to hit a road. You have only more reasons to stay on a warm stove behind the wall, even if it is suffocating. He looks towards the windows. I'm sure you heard a lot already that people don't build hamlets anymore. There are no more. Is it e Ibixes or Ibixes? I'm not sure how to pronounce that one in English. From the south, and a traders stay for only a few days. Only of our iron is used to cauldrons, not swords or tools. What will I find trailing west? Well, there are hills nearby, then you'll find a village maybe an hour away from here. Hmm. It was destroyed by beasts almost a decade ago. Nothing to see there. Goblins live there now, so most people just trail around it. They just say it's haunted. <laughs> but who knows? Who cares? 
He crossed his arms and started to sway back and forth, gathering his thoughts. You'll get there, you'll get by... You'll get to a large tree on the edge of the swamp. For the locals, it's sacred. You're not used to hearing someone mention peg pagans. Is the one. There's nothing unusual about them. There is a small path south which leads to the old mine in the mountains. Nothing to find there. But keep riding north and you'll find Holler's Dell. Side of the clean brook. Farmers live there. And uh, Malvons and Druids. They'll let you stay for a night. They're not cheap. I don't think my press are bad. It means there and being into the ape ale in yet. <laughs> I know only a bit about this next settlement. Old Pagos. The soil there isn't too fertile, so they work at a quarry and help other settlements build the things in exchange for crops. The forests and hills aren't too harsh. Man, there's, apparently there's a lot of shit going on from this place, including even south. Well, I guess south is southwest ish. The game is angled a little bit here. Anyway, um. <clears throat> They gave themselves and they don't pay well. The third village is unknown to me. The wide marshes, set in the bogs. I heard it smells like a griffin lair. Heard a lot of nest rooms about the place, but I wouldn't share them. I don't want to be a lie spreader. So three villages, really. Hollers. The near monastery, whatever it's called, the marshes. Don't let the beds... Palisades fool you, though. Weird people live there. Don't tell them the more than you need to. I wonder if it's something he would tell other trolls as well. <laughs> Are they still roads as rough as I heard? Uh, pretty much. Don't leave the main road, I would say. Not so far from here, you'll find an old dolman. Few my people. Damn, that's a lot of nice. Uh, this scroll here, even nice. Few my people had to spend a night there, and monkeys stole food and gogs from their place. Bags. It was their fault. One of them had fallen asleep in the middle of his watch. But you know. Eastern fords are wild, the roads are rough, almost our soul lives there. One day all these roads will be swallowed by the trees again. The first my team has gone to the home of Enchantress. Just stay on a track until you reach the crossroads right near the abandoned watchtower. From there turn east, you'll recognize the place. It's a nice home of the lonely Mido, surrounded by the wall. He looks towards the closed window and then to you again. Kinda like our walls, but simpler, without coding. She leaves as a hermit. You do see. So. I don't even know how she survives there, but if you don't have a decent coin, you won't find much about that there. <laughs> so back to the crossroads. If you turn left instead, you'll see a road. People stay away from it. Hmm. It connects the tower and the monastery, a shortcut between the two sides of the peninsula. I was uh, warned by the locals not to use it. It already belongs to the beasts. Hmm. A lot of dangers everywhere, huh? Crossroads. Don't go to east. That place. Have you ever been to the northern coast? I only know about other inn. Far from here. Maybe a day or on foot. A bit less than from Easter side. His eyes once again focus on the floor. I never been there. I heard it's a safe place. Close to villages or fishers and hunters through, I don't know much about them. That's all I need. I didn't expect to find an inn of this size in a place such as this. Ah, so you know a thing or two after all. <laughs> it was built long before we arrived. It didn't work out well for our previous owners. Once the war ended, they left. Not enough travelers. Bad trade. The villagers stick to themselves. We have our came prepared, and now we're prospering. When you ask him, how they can afford all the supplies, he runs his fingers through his dark hair. I'm not against running an inn, but we don't rely on guests. We're the ones doing all the trading. My hunters are a clever bunch and stay safe in the forest. In exchange for furs, clothes, and bones, we get what we need and more, both from the south and the north. He relaxes in the chair. We have a good life here. We spend a whole a lot on armor, crossbows, lumber, spears. But another ten, maybe twenty years, we'll have enough savings to move on to Hovland. Then work for another day in our lives. We take risks, but smartly. The team is stronger than ever, and I have big plans for us. Hey, Knight, what's up? Um, alright then. 
It's surprising to find a purple skinned man so far in the north. I ain't seen a soul looking like this since my ma died. It's not fascinating a tale. Let's just say I was part of the invasion, yet I'm glad it freed all those who were chained by the cities and the Corsairs. I'm Layson, by the way, but I rarely hear the name. Or Yasan, actually. Yeah, it was not uh... It's 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 a lot. It's not L, right? It's it's uh... L would be different than yeah. It's Yasan, yeah. Leader of the team, big game hunters. Oh, <laughs> Starcraft map. He arrived here about ten years ago. His purple skin combined with clean. Implies that he might have been born into slavery. Is there any good story behind Ian's name? Well, I mean, there is a story, but not a good one. He clears this story. For years, I wanted to have Ian called a pelt. But in my city, it would be a bad taste. Taverns is an Ian's name with a single word or cheap and an nice reputation. There was the claw and the mugger. The Basilisk, Blissful, I think. The good place is at least two words. Empty Barrel, Rosen Helmet, Empress, Smile. Pig Head was exception, was a real dive. <laughs> In my soul, it's still just a pelt. Pelts are what we came here for, and what will make us reach our goals. I turned to find the questions about Galosha's band. He frees observing your hands suddenly. He wants me to get answer from the mayor. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. Any rumors worth sharing? Crosses his arm. I don't like to talk about people who are nearby, but you know what they're doing. Who are you wondering about? Tell me about. Use your keyboard to name people that you're interested in. Oh man, we're definitely playing some DOS game. Here, nostalgia. Typing answers in keyboards. Example, Empress. Why do I care about Empress? I mean, does he know about uh, Turi, for example? And then Turi is some quiet. Some qu uh, quite some time since her score vanished in the fog, she's been careful. I'm glad to know she's still alive. She's doing experience that lead others to battle, I think. <laughs> like most people, she needs to follow others, but she already knows that. There's nothing worse than a fighter too stupid to limit their ambitions. I don't know them. <laughs> All right, it clicked. Uh, and this is why you might need to do some remembering and thinking on your own. Yeah, or read the guides online and uh, stuff like that. Total understandable. It's definitely a good tip for um, people who are gonna. Oh my god. I just realized something. I've been staring at this background. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I just like. I suddenly. You probably noticed on camera too. I, it's like. It's kind of like when you read the book a lot. Yeah, you have the same colors. And then I alt tab here. Twitter is like uh, the white. Well, I use the white one. Then I have uh, other people, other things that are like dark background. And uh, yeah, it's like my 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 eyes are already affected by. It. And I've been only staring at this for two hours, so yeah. I mean, it's normal, it's just like I, I'm saying is that, well, I guess it's been a while since I really like concentrated my eyes on specific like one color in the background. Let's change the topic. Yeah, the, I write, I writing notes is something, I mean, I've been streaming recently a game that I kind of said that I didn't really finish a run, god damn it, Cultist Simulator, right? Yeah, vector, uh, vector, 
you know, be, being a part of that adventure of many others. Awesome game, popular game too, but the, the other games started getting in my way there too. Anyway, the reason I'm mentioning it since there was this that game is so cryptic uh, with uh, cl information. Well, not cryptic, but like um, you better, especially without guides, you have to learn through everything through trial and error and learn how the things work. And there's drop rates, there's like chances. You have to learn about. You have to write down how to do things and. The, yeah, I played La Milana on stream without guides, you know, I, I created the maps for myself in various games. So the fact that I need to record st some stuff, names or whatever, it's nothing. Like, try to map entire m maps of the video games so that doesn't have them. No, that's a fucking something. Okay, just a moment here. Uh... Art is some litter to me, pains pain me like one of your French <laughs> harsh horrors. Well, yeah, even though I maxed out the paint i mean the artist skill and the muscle there i still end up like ch changing swapping up of work there and the, well there's still a reason to do that to manipulate like evidence and other things the feelings anyway um yeah that management game is so sick how it all works together like that. What do you need? Uh, do you have anything for sale? New trader unlocked. Oh, we had to click on that. I can go and pick up a few things for you. Some food for your trails to start with apples and then sausage. Sausage. Not too many at once. We need to maintain our supplies. I got an elk fur I don't need. It's buyers of cotton and a pack of red wolves. Nice to sleeping spot. Just as nice for a bowl. Almost untouched bowl of soup. I mean soap. Priceless for travel. Bowl of soap, huh? You can tell if he's being sarcastic. Made of fine oak ash. Strong. Though you should have some better supplies before you start your own bathhouse. After you mention you like something more useful in these roads, he looks down. I don't have any blades or armor to spare, but if you pay well, you can take one of our crossbows and a bunch of corals. A U bow, wool cords, and a trigger needs just a little bit of oil. It's as good as you can get without soaking in the magic. It takes a bit of muscle to draw, but even a 16 year old could handle it. I won't sell it cheap, but I'm ready to give a discount for a helpful ally. None. None of the other jobs can play with the dangerous cards the same way. <laughs> For sure. Let me take a look at what you have first. There's the screen, yeah? Yeah, we're definitely not exactly rich right now. Food rations is one. Three feelings, three feeling meals at once upon a time soon. Commodity set the fires for crossbow. Oak based balm that burns skin and longer contact. Burns the skin. Seems like we need the uh, soap. Because my thing is not looking good there. We're gonna have to lean anyway. It says like that there's a water here. Well, maybe in the. Not inside the inn, but in, uh, in the. Uh, like the tower area there. Alright, let's get the soap. Bye. Oh, there's only one soap. You add soap to your travel set. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get by one of those. You can buy more tomorrow. Three. Damn, one coin is a lot, it seems like. Items for parents' sake are this investment. 
Well, I mean, yeah. So I got three rations for one co coin, and yeah, one coin is worth a lot, but then there's like 30 coins for that. Okay. Now I feel better about my food situation, except that I need... How can I eat? Like, when am I be able to eat? Inventory. Ah, eat a food ration to increase your nourishment by two. Nice. Fucking finally have freedom, I guess. 12 hour 15... Wait, did the time pass? Oh, shit, I need to remember that. Like, 12 hour 15... I think it was more... Can be in the middle of event. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, all this logical and all that, but um, I cannot I cannot tell if it was like a um, time spent after I finished talking or eating. I assume there was time of eating. Yeah, it's it's like shopping with Bitcoin. We just want to use the device. So. Um. Okay, doesn't matter. So now we're full two out of four. No experience, no penalties and bonuses. Why would I not have full nourishment though then? Ah, wait, I'm supposed to get berries and like thing and get more f leftovers or something. That's all I need, I'll go outside. As you step outside, Chucky is enjoying some old hay. You hear the sounds of work coming from the armor workshop. Yeah, there we go. You see, there's like other places here. I should go outside and forage the berries. I can travel. I go to the well. My shell. You mean shell is like body in this game, yeah? My clothes need no washing. Three pieces of bathing equipment to get more out of this place. Cold water from bucket won't take away your smell, but it's enough to remove the towel and sweat from the skin. Yeah, th this game is using shell as a body, and I noticed. Like, uh, Pneuma leaves my shell when I was, like, describing me spellcasting. Alright, so... Got armor, dude, here. Oh yeah, the time passes. Yeah, definitely. I, it's probably because I cleaned. You walk past the well and find a small open shed unlike the stable, but without the humble of tables. Set of tables carving tools, hammers and sharpening stones, pincers, knives and other tools. As long as something can be sold by brute force, this place will find a way to do so. There are two people sitting on a long bench. The first one a male with the maybe inch long hair, cleanly shaven face, thin long yellow tunic bare legs and sandals. He ignores your presence soon and gambles on with great concentration. Second person is a boy, maybe 15, who is wearing a crude outfit and farmer. He glances at you, but soon returns to shopping long dagger. I wait for him to notice me. After a few minutes, the man finishes the desk and raises his head. He puts away the, the piece of garment and tables, stands up and bows in the shrugs, waiting for you to speak. And we need for your services. New trader unlocked. He you knows. Point at the least in front of your jacket, raise clenched fingers to his shoulders, and gently spreads lowers them. You can throw away. Follow his command and allow him to properly inspect your gambeson. For a few minutes, he gives it back, then reaches of his pouch. He pulls out the one dragon bone, shrugs, then another one, and waves both of them in the air person his lips. He makes a few speech-like noises with his empty mouth groaning with... I don't know. <laughs> In one hour your jacket will be carefully patched up. Pay one. Hmm, okay, well... That's an option. He shakes his head, points uneven seams. He 
you wouldn't even if you had tools. You can try and holler as Dell Gales of Vox. Sometimes it doubles. Yeah, let's see, like, a double here. So if the clothing is dead, it's dead, yeah? So I assume zero or the, um, one is okay, but then... All right. I look at the youngster. Learn the trade, I see. Kind of. He answers the walking name, his, but his teacher pats his knee, giving him a harsh look. The kid clears his throat. Yes, but we both are in masters, you see. There's not a soul to teach us. So once I'm ready, I'll try hunting instead. Fixing things for others is boring. The man grunts the sound, though. He, you don't understand it, seeing his face. Boy shackles. Said safe. Let's meet in the middle. Boring, but safe. Guards. Yeah, 15 minutes. The woman yellow armor is kneeling next to brown hairy boar, which is resting on its side. The beast is not as large as the dark ones from the forest. It responds to a touch of a human hand and brush, with grateful grunting, the rapid twitches of the hand hoof. No matter how friendly it appears, it will tether to the well, and you have no doubt that a charge would leave Chucky dead in a breath. When that woman notices you, she steps forward to the board's disappointment. So, the new ward, uh, road warden. She points at the window with her chin. We're still in the questions. We don't need anything now, but when we travel with our furs, we can use some assistance. She may be around 30, but her warm voice and brilliant smile are camouflaging the touch of time with her unpowered face. Like many red haired people with freckles, her skin is unhealthy pale. The boar runs up to her, observing your boots and fruitlessly sniffing for food beneath the beaten ground. She passes back, but maintains her focus. How about a game or two? We have a bit of uh, time and can talk a bit uh, about this and that. Maybe you'll get a couple of coins or lose one. She winks. You could play dice. Through X is a target. This seems scum -ass. Is it gonna be the first time gonna be a safe scumming? Sure, let's play some dice extra and show me what you got. Blend with group. Your rival, your rival and especially a dragon bow you pull out cheerfully welcomed. Two of the guards bring a table for men, another one prepares a couple of stools and chairs. They're all suspectors and you're told that the other hunters either sleeping or have dude in a towel. Remember? No magic! Hmm. Game is new to see you. But in no way baffling. Four people can play at once. Time for Mahjong. The wooden dice are long, only four dotted faces. Every time someone wins a round they get a point, and the person with the most points at the end of the game wins all the coins. As a player, you don't feel like you have much control over the results. I blend in the group. You share casual jokes, memories and views and lack an obsolete strategies. Chucky and Tula's camps are also brought up, but when you ask about the roads and locals, their stories are vague. Drinks are here. It's poor beer made from leftovers after the regular brewing. It's cold sweet and doesn't reach your head, but you try to avoid the smell. Just don't spill anything, the boar made gets sick. <laughs> Says the bold opponent. Just in a few minutes, you get two points, which are now represented by smooth pebbles. You don't really know how you got them either. You don't get the strategy, just pure luck. Let's see how lucky I am. Minus coin. The only bad rolls you finish with two points. The second lowest score, you put the dragon boat in front of the guard in the yellow, which comical exaggerate thanks made a lot. At their table, the chairs are moved back. Already played today. 
So let me guess, I could safe scam this, right? Or maybe I cannot, maybe I need some ability. Loading will lose and save progress, yeah. You score a second best, nice one. Amazing, right? Score is the lowest. Yeah, so far it's all different results. Your score is second best one. Plus three? Scam, dude. Scam. Also, the time apparently going forward. During the final hour, you get ahead of everyone, and the spectators play for coming on your moves. The winner takes all. Three dragons are placed on it. Yeah, all the three players. Place on the table, and you put them in your pouch quickly. The table. Sure, I move back into the building and the garden. Yellow things are for playing. Is there anything else you need? Later, they'll have questions for me. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> and now we can maybe get that repair going on, but yeah, it will take some time. I should be. I should just like left uh, this place and. Uh, um, I don't know ignored most of the options, but yeah, I'm, it's my first run, I need to get all information. I would definitely want that. Have you ever been in the heart of the woods? We sometimes hunt south from here. There are good hunting grounds in the western half. The second one is too grown. Over, maybe the soil is different? She shrugs and moves the hair away from her further, but it's a risky spot. They said you don't use magic, but you scam them. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like you know different timelines. It's like a theory of multiverse. You know, I just I, I just teleport to a different world where I actually I won. You know, and now we're progressing this timeline. It's it's all fair. <laughs> there's some, uh, there's uh, uh, there's universe where the opponents so definitely loses and wins. You know. <clears throat> well, yeah, this is what I was afraid of in uh, such game, yeah, like... To prevent this, there would be some kind of, like, tricky code in the game, or, like, um... For example, to win at uh, this gambling match right now, I needed to have some kind of skill or... Do something else, like, prerequisites, but... Again, if they actually have, like, dice rolls, yeah, the people... I mean, I can't really say for everyone here, but I'm pretty sure most gamers are just gonna safe scum the fuck out of these. That's the will of the Steins Gate, yeah. <laughs> Man, the Steins Gate are so amazing. Kinda wish I just could forget the, some of these amazing visual novels and play them again for the first time. Anyway, um. Mm, the trans wolves and furless ones, and if you have to go through tall grasses, watch out for what's on the ground. There are many archers and trees. There are too many worms, even larger than water leech. Oh, what's was that? After a brief giggle, her voice gets cold and serious. Now, nah, Road Warden, we use names and stories among friends. You ain't one that make me tempt curses. <laughs> wow. She doesn't trust me enough to tell her about herself. The innkeeper has asked me to, uh, to forge the berries. No, oh, don't worry about it. Usually we forge by ourselves, but he wouldn't ask you for a dragon for a meal. He gives small jobs to people all the time just to see who agrees to do them. What's the judge who is the youth and who's too proud for their own good? If you agree, just to be sure, get those berries today and don't try to take his tools away. He hates these. Yeah, so we're just. Gonna, not to, it's not necessarily a good deal, we're just gonna like, um, we're just gonna um, take advantage. Um, maybe get some trust too. Ding, ding, ding. I have some questions about this place. Oh shit, dude. And that's just these soldiers there on the side. 
That's unusual tower. I expect it to be closer to the gate and shorter. Like the Halavan? Fair. But it ain't here to protect the gate. This stronghold was built long before we moved in, and not to fight off the humans. The tower is meant to be used by those who observe the deep forest. We look out for fires, dragons, and any winged creatures that are looking to roost on the roof. All day. Chanel stores the man who indeed is completely bald. It's a great eye and sees well, even in darkness. Any interesting creatures living nearby? Ha! <laughs> here? Everything lives here! She flips her hair. I swear, we saw a few dragons, unicorns, family battle between trolls and goblins, face two beastmen, and a gargoyle and a hunting queen stood so time. Shouts all the time. I mean, I could tell you all about them, but I won't. She wings and pats the board hand. You know, hunters have their secrets. Your grip seems to be quite attached to this board. How could you not be? She cries and raised the board's head. But steps away in schools if someone's murdering it. It came with uh, us from city just in case. We had no clue how our first winter could go, so we needed some backup meat, and it works too. Cleans the dirt. She reaches the, the beast again and trots away. The woman straightens up with the police. I, I haven't needed to eat so far, but it's also funny. I learned in my home village that the farm boards are getting a bit smaller and more cuddly. Kind of like ibexes. So it's not much a wild, dangerous beast. But we don't get close to other animals or children. What do you usually hunt for? Anything we can eat or sell. There's a partridge, squirrel, a rat. We don't complain. But when, yeah, the rat of the. <laughs> I remember the z zombie survivor terminus. Cut the rat. C cook, cook the rat. Um, but when we move as a group, we look for the, something larger. Deers, Arox, Arox. I'm not sure what that is. Delicious. But we don't always look for taste alone. There's well in bones, antlers, claws, tusks. Things people use to make tools or sculptures. We use some of them to make tools and spears. You can never have enough of spears. She probably look at the strand of her hair, then suddenly speaks up again. And we look for furs, of course. But can I find north from here? I'm sorry, but I don't really go into these regions. We stay close to home, only sometimes move south or west to Hall or Dell, but only to trade. They're fine with buying more than they need since they can take where's the coast. She takes a long breath, twirling her hair and gathering her thoughts. You know what? I never even seen a beach. And I've been living here for how many? More than 10 years now. Also 10 years, huh? She, she giggles. The only part of the sea I, I seen was the old Pagos, which is placed on a hill. And I put a ton that salt water. She looks towards another huntress who concerns her experience in the same. But old Pagos is a good place. As long as you don't mock their order and act nice, they will be kind. Boss says they're too serious for him to stand them. At least they don't buy it without reason. No wild cows. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, I, like I could almost Google some words, but I'm. God damn it! Why this game does this? Like, I. D it's not a complicated some engine game. Like it's just like a visual novel, like basically engine. Why does it every time I return to this game? By the way, maybe if I is there like a full screen window? Yeah. Wait. If I do the window mode for this game, it's not gonna fuck me, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Um, hello? Yeah, it's full screen, seems like an ex exclusive thing. Alright, let's try again. I alt tap and return to the game. And yeah, it, froze, it freezes. It's just funny how it freezes, like. Hello. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I mean. It's not like my camera is important to begin with. Um, have you heard anything about necromancers? Oh, it's something new. Her voice lowers to a whisper. I've never been to White Marshes, but over the years we've seen people moving away from there. South. You told us the place has changed too much. Priest died, I think. The new one awakens the dead? Sorry, Ronworn, that's all I know. 
but he's hiding something. Sounds convincing. I'm looking for knowledge about wild creatures. Well, I told you knowledge is valuable, I don't know. She looks at the boar. Fifteen dragons, no less. There's discounts for friends. Well, depending on the, on the friend, <laughs> she gives you a random spell. Let's say 15. It's not too much for you, maybe ask me after you spend time around show so what you can or play dice with us when you have an hour to spare. These folks here, they crave gossip. Yeah, spend dice. Be sociable, you know. Well, I mean, what I cannot do any trust right now. Um, okay, uh, forage the berries then. Before snakes are gonna attack me. Innkeeper knew what he was talking about. He put on a gloves and looked through the bushes and safe distance. Doesn't take long because he knows the first serpent lying on a rock somewhere in the thicket. Creatures are not that large, and even if some of them hiss at you slightly closer, the jabs on a hook keep the aim at distance. I don't know much about these berries. They're round and reddish. You wouldn't trust such a color even if you were looking for food in the wilderness. Plants don't have thorns, but the leaves are harsh, so you make sure to thoroughly cover your skin with your clothes. You have to look through the many bushes. Uh, to fill the bucket, but the presence of insects and snakes doesn't allow you to relax. I gather berries and go back to him. I gather a bucket, bucket full of bucket full. What a word! Who says bucket full anyway? You return to the country yard. Two of the guards are participating in the friendly skirmish. They're wrestling, it's commanded by the crowd. Locked windows make their. So you again, need anything? He lost the berries. Oh, you're right, he gave me like a food, yeah. I got the plus two food from that. Great, I got a cabbage stew with a few goose chunks for you. I'll serve it even the merchants. They were around. Meals weren't filling, will be seasoned. Now they were cooked. Like I said, I really have food to spare. Feel free to ask if you ever stop by. You may be lucky and I got cooking my whole life. I've been cooking. Thanks. How did the old hook of mine work out for you? I see you still have your hands. I've lost it. I like to buy it from you. Why would I buy the hook? It's just a hook. I give him the hook, I'm fine. Takes the tools from you and not need anything else. I already asked for leftovers today. Okay. Can I accidentally waste time by essentially trying to not get anything? Oh, yeah, the plus armor. Pay. Hey. Ah, he cannot even repair fully it. I feel like this gambeson could use some adjustments. End of experiences. We do this and that, but only simple things. All right. So pretty much we can travel now, huh? By the way, I can click time travel. Ah, it says time travel. Nice. Sounds like we have too much options here right now. But yeah, I'm starting to get the idea of the what's nearby me based on uh, this the dialogue we already heard. Road up hill meters. Slowing you down, forcing you to pay close attention to only shadows of trees, but also tight rocky passages. You can't help but notice a few caves and fire ambush spots. Keep an eye for any sign of life. Oh, new entry, ruined village. And 
the moment I have no access to well I guess it's gonna be north and maybe west standing in front of the gate you hear no voices no tools at work no steps those in the birds uh, leave them on the collapsed roofs they're fluttering singing squawking and free worries if you want to travel any further you need to ride around the palisade searching for ruins may take a lot of time the broken gate in north will lead you to the village the sound of the gentle river reaches you from east, where you see a saggy fence surrounding an overgrown pasture. Behind the burned building in the east, you see a oddly barren field. Journal updated ruined village. It's a quest. I arrived at the ruined village that used to be set in a southern road. It may be important to figure out what happened here. So it's called Southern Road. Well, maybe it's like because of the position of the entire map, too. <laughs> southern Gate was destroyed by a massive force, most likely a troll or a powerful mage. Palace in a good shape, and the entrance wasn't even touched by a fire. It was turned away, possibly thrown. The amount of use force must be huge, but you expect to be pushed the gate into the village, not away from it. You don't see marks on a dragon bite. A troll could toss such a planks, but after many years, you see no paw prints. A mage? You can't really tell. The broken logs and planks are charred, while the wooden walls are rotten and covered in the moss. See no ashes or dust proof in the fire happened a long time. It smells awful. There's no reason to stay for long. You see no furniture, just some broken shelves. It was just a storage room. Valuable laws and ends were already taken by the scavengers. Of course. I look forward. I move forward. Where do you want to go? Southwest part of the village. I inspect the fields of the southwest. Oh wait, I explore southwest part of the village. I expect the fields south to two southwest locations now. Yeah. Fields. You are surrounded by what looks like a field plot and late autumn, disturbed by hundreds of rains and snowfalls. There's a few clumps. Grab some weed, but a place like this abandoned in the years should already have turned itself into green leaf. Yeah, inside and outside. Yeah, that's what I thought also. Also, yeah, the, the illustration. My name is Pornus. I used to be a mage. Oh, there's a thing here, I noticed. In my class, I guess, people could, like, see the... If they, they understand the game, they, they, they see the stream, they could, like... Yeah, can... Maybe it's overused, but you would still expect the wheat to sprout. Curse. Path leading west from here ends to the edge of the field, shifting into medium, then forest. In the north, you see a path leading around the palisade. I use my mouse to sense if there's a plume bird in this place. Hmm, why would I do that? Get a leech, it's back in our cells. Yeah, well, it sucks because, like, I could probably just safe scum this and see what happens if I do that. But damn it, I hate this. forget it even if you know as a player the character doesn't well of course I mean uh, the, like depending on the outcomes yeah it's still like you have to manage your resources and see if it's worth or not true true well yeah let's just test what happens if I do that I, I don't think I want to do that I have only one of the five left but uh, let's see what happens if I do Ruined village. You unpack the wooden spheres, pleasantly smooth and lightless. The 
tire set fits in the palm of the hand, you place them in various spots, marking your positions by sticking a brand new soil. All you can do is now wait, so you brush check it for a bit and make sure the saddle doesn't bother it. When you return to gather your amulets, all of them are much warmer in their new skin, their entire field is corrupted, though seeing how there are some plants grown from it, the spell is fading away. The curse is most likely as old as the lost hours. So I just learned that this place is basically cursed, so yeah. I proven that the local fields have been turned barren by a curse. Proven, huh? Is there somebody to prove that? Okay. Oh, it cost me 30 minutes, I apparently, by, by, by that spell. I inspect the palace site in the west. There's a small piece. Maybe we're gonna meet somebody though. A building, some which collapse made of wood, no chair and rod, and you spot a claw marks on the walls, especially close to doors and window frames. They could belong to a dragonling or a large wolf, larger than gray ones, or corpse eater. Too many options to make a guess. Yet no beast remains in sight. You find remains of clothes, of furniture, odds and ends. Only the objects seems to be used basket like fish trap made of vines and willow branches. It's a uh, large fish swims into it and won't be able to get out on its own. It's large, quite large, but I can fit in my saddle. Fish trap. <laughs> hey, we got a loot. Cost me time too. Your stomach makes you let a painful groan. Really? Nah, no, no nourishment is fine. Whoa, there's more options now. Ah, because we're like exploring more pieces. So yeah, this is how you like explore new areas, like the piece by piece to main square. Turn to that, inspect the pasture. But imagine playing the game for the first time and Don is exploring the entire zone, right? There might, there might, yeah. I mean, definitely, like, I mean, enjoy the game and explore everything. Fuck, like, what's the point of skipping and uh, trying to save time when you don't know even what you're, like, doing, pretty much? Might have more than one meaning. <laughs> oh, for sure. Alright, that's uh, gonna be it for my... Uh, Today's uh, stream. It's uh, getting uh, here midnight. Yeah, once again, I fell. I fell. F I mean, I, I'm. I'm. F I am. What? How to explain it in English? Like, I am. A, I'm a victim of streaming a sponsored segment for a very good game, and uh, that baits me to spend more time into it and uh, continue youtube series or streams and or just something yeah uh that's that's the best part about trying to uh, get the gig for these type of things and also getting accepted for them and uh, getting a cozy feeling when that happens but at the same time you know like <laughs> you, you have this also feel that you want to be responsible to play more, you want to see what's next and all that. This is one of those games for sure, even though it's like a different uh, on... Um, it's, it's definitely different uh, from gameplay perspective here, we have a basically book presented for us, yeah, with the interactive options and um, uh, the pictures, yeah, icons. But yeah, like... I, I think I might just chill it's, it's, or do like a flying playthrough. I don't know, like tell me what you think maybe on YouTube for this one. Um, definitely, definitely. Well, I mean, I said it at the start of the stream, you have 30 hours uh, developer claims for apparently one playthrough, so wow! And you can play multiples, but again, if you know, again, you, the game, you probably going to be speedrunning a lot of options and safe's coming very fast, effectively, too. Very nice. The fact that the, pretty much the entire game is, well, outside of like commissions and helps, yeah, 
is done by the one person is uh, is definitely a um, huge respect. A lot of uh, I noticed a lot of interesting creative uh, projects done this this year, involving uh, either like just interesting setting or mechanics, and then like pix quality pixel arts. All right. Tomorrow we're gonna have a lengthy stream, returning to the terminus most likely. We have some challenge runs there, very hardcore runs. I have some new information to share there too. Some uh, more people from my community are playing terminus and uh, sharing um, their experiences. That's kind of co cool. But yeah, once again. Um, Thanks for watching today. Uh, this is, was a sponsored uh, stream. Full uh, road warning. I hope I hooked you uh, uh, on uh, the start. I want to create your own wa road warning perhaps now to <laughs> and see how, what you're gonna do. Maybe you're gonna go to the east right away. Imagine going to the east right away. Oh man. I mean, that probably also is an option. But uh, yeah. Um, and if you already haven't done so, please click uh, the link that's uh, been uh, spammed by the my backup bot here. Every so on, and it's on a Twitter Twitter post and Discord message too. But daring reckless, probably just reckless. Yeah, I, I know it's probably something that you do, and then you have to reload anyway. So. I'll be surprised if there's some sneaky options to actually survive. Maybe you need to be warrior to do that. But yeah, I will tell you on other... If I decide to play this offline or something, you know, as a book, yeah. Um, or again, tell me later on Discord or YouTube comments uh, whenever you want more of this. I will tell you the my uh, experience and uh, my my success in this game I mean clearly and of course developer of the I'm pretty sure uh, I mean actually developer was handling these uh, gigs but there could be a chance that it was uh, somebody else like uh, some agency but thanks for sponsoring my channel always happy to be providing uh, good quality uh, deliveries for uh, amazing projects and again, this was already one month release, so it's not like uh, this game is uh, QA. But um, yeah, like I don't expect any issues with this game. Well, outside of that weird thing with the camera, I, I don't know, this is just game engine doing the thing. I'll actually check on recording it whenever the camera actually lags or just the OBS thing. But yeah, not lags, but it just freezes the moment I'll tap. Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow very early for the, the next stream.